Welcome to True 911 Calls. The death of a child is always tragic and in some cases cannot be prevented. This was the case on January 2013 when Laura Shadow found her newly adopted son, three-year-old Max, unresponsive in their backyard. After calling 911, Laura received instructions from the dispatcher to perform CPR on the small child which she was able to administer for nearly 20 minutes before paramedics arrived. Max Shadow was pronounced deceased upon arrival at the emergency room. The county 911, Los Angeles emergency. Yes, I have a three-year-old who's not breathing. What's the address, ma'am? 16097 North Waldrop Avenue, Gardendale. And your phone number? 5619489. Okay, are you with him now? Yes, I'm attempting CPR. He was playing outside on the playground. I'm not sure what happened. Okay. Not breathing at all? He does not appear to be breathing at all. I cannot get any chest down for the test scope. Okay. I'm getting him on the way. You know how to do CPR? Ma'am? Ow. I'm sorry, what? You do know how to do CPR? Yes, I do know how to do CPR. I'm trying to do CPR on him at this point in time. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm going to put your speaker, okay? Sure, that's fine. How late? When did this start, ma'am? Uh, just about a minute or so ago. I'm sorry, I was trying to get him to start breathing before I called. No, that's fine. That is fine. He does not appear to be breathing at all. Okay, keep breathing for him. I can get his chest in place, but he can't do it on his own. Okay, I want you to do it. Just keep, keep breathing for him, okay? Okay. Does he have a pulse at all? I'm not feeling well, but I'm shaking so bad. I'm <laughs> okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath, okay? You have it. You have his head tilted back and have his airway open. Airway is open. Okay. Give him two breaths. Okay. Feel up. Feel for a pulse, okay? Do you feel a pulse at all? I'm still not feeling a pulse. Okay, I want you to do compressions, okay? Put one hand on his chest, right on the sternum, and push down 15 times, approximately one half to one inch. When you do, when you do the 15 times, I want you to tell me. Okay. Okay, and give him two breaths. Is anybody there with you? Is their wing clear? Okay, give him two breaths. And then give him, okay, 15 more compressions. Baby, I'm not hurting him. I've also got a one year old. Okay, is anybody else there with you? No. Okay. <laughs> I want you to keep doing compressions and two two breaths, and then compression and two breaths as long as you can, okay? You're doing a fine job. Just take a breath and relax. Is there anybody nearby we can call to help you while you wait on the EMS? There is nobody. Okay, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. I'm sorry, he's autistic. He's so dangerous. I'm sorry? He's autistic. I can understand you. He's an autistic, so dangerous child. He's a whisper doll. Okay, now stop and check his breathing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Is he trying to take a breath? No, he doesn't. His pupils are fixed and dilated. Okay, keep going. Two breaths, 15 compressions. you can, okay? I know it's tough, but you're doing a good job. I just went to study the bathroom that was in. Okay, you're fine. You're fine. What is your name? <laughs> what is your name, ma'am? Laura. What is your name? Laura. Okay, Laura, you're doing fine. No hurry, take your, your two slow deep breaths. And your 15 compressions, a half to one is deep. Okay, I want you to check in there way, look in his airway, is it still clear? His airway appears to be clear. Okay, check for a pulse. Where are you checking for a pulse at? I was checking for a heart being with a stethoscope. Okay, do you hear anything? I don't hear anything. Okay, keep going then. You're doing fine. He just got snot and blood coming out. That's it. Okay. Just wipe it off his face and keep going. You do you're doing a wonderful job. His belly's distending. You're fine. Next time you give him a breath, I want you to tilt his head back even further, okay? You're doing good. You're doing good. When you give him a breath, tilt his head as far back as you can, okay? <laughs> when you get to, you know, when you need a quick break, check for pulse and check his airway again. because they're getting everything I'm telling you. <laughs> Just take them a little bit to get out there, okay? But they're coming. Like I say, when you need to take a break, check your airway, check for a pulse, okay? Oh, 
Rescue 8. Tell him to run hot out there to help this lady. Does he have any kind of medical problems, Laura? He's autistic. He was just put on Risperdal. Okay. He's not a diabetic or anything? self injurious. Okay, he's not a diabetic or anything like that? That we know of. Okay. <laughs> Keep going. You're doing good. I've got EMS on the way, and I've got the Sheriff's Department on the way. We'll see who can get there first to help you out, okay? Please? They're on the way. We're getting there as quick as we can, I promise. <laughs> They're going to run hot and help you to help you with him, okay? They're going to be a little closer to EMS, I think, but they're going to help you out. Pulse. Laura, do you know how to feel for the pulse on his neck? I'm trying. It should be right next to his windpipe, about the middle of the neck. I like his knee Okay, keep going then. If he's got a little bit of a heart rate, then that's better enough, but keep just help him out. Just keep going. Is your house pretty easy to find from the road, Laura? No, it's just a long coli. All my address is a long coliche driveway. That's still on a long coliche driveway? What color is your house? It's just a beige brick. It's set real far back in the road. There's two horses in the pasture and an oil well. There's an oil well in front of it. It's a beige brick. Yeah. Oil well's in the front, beige brick house. Any vehicles out front? Yeah, there's a red car and an old blue truck. A red vehicle and an old blue truck, okay? Just keep going, okay? You're doing a wonderful job, Laura. Nobody could do any better. He's starting to smell like he's pooping himself. That's fine. That happens. Keep going. You're doing good. Chris, stay in the house, baby. Seven, seven, five, four, it's off of Gold. It's right where Golden Rod is. My driveway is right where Golden Rod and West County Road 30 meet, if that helps. Golden Rod and West County Road 30? Yes. Okay. Right where they meet, right at the, uh, uh, the county line. Please, I need help. They're coming. They're coming. Just keep going. You're doing good. You're doing a good job. Nobody can do any better. <laughs> Sounds like somebody might be pulling up.
During the autopsy, there were many bruises and other minor injuries found on Max's body. This prompted an immediate investigation, but Laura was cleared of any wrongdoing and the child's death was ruled accidental. It was revealed that Max was diagnosed with autism and as a result was prone to self-injury. Max had a tendency to hit his head on surfaces and claw at his own body. Authorities from Max's birth country, Russia, expressed outrage over the decision to not charge Laura Shadow, claiming an epidemic of deaths of Russian children at the hands of adoptive American parents. Regardless of this belief, Laura Shadow remains innocent. That's it for today. Don't forget to like this video if you found it interesting and subscribe to join us in the next episode of True 911.